I've just pulled over here on the uh, Yarramundi Reserve southern entry side just to give you guys a look of what the 2022 floods did to this area down here. I've traveled along this bridge a couple of times to see all these trees falling over. Look how far up the water would have gone. It honestly looks like a different planet, like a wasteland. And this is the Nepean River here, so this would he head down towards Julie's house. Down towards uh, Leonay there. And nothing's really recovered in just over a year. I don't think any... Well, they're not dead trees. They've still got... They're still growing. They're still alive, but they're all... They're all keeled over. We would have been... I would have been definitely where my car is there. It would have been definitely underwater here if it's gone that far up the road there. We've got a light sprinkle. We're heading up into the mountains today. Stop in for my favourite donuts in Springwood. No vehicles allowed. Minimum penalty 63 bucks. That's not a lot. So we've got a lot of trees cut. Look at the devastation down here. I think that might be the remnants of the old bridge. So prior to this one being built out of concrete, you can see some sleepers, wooden sleepers there. That may have been the original bridge over the Nepean River. Look at the trees in that little island over there. Look at this poor tree. little boat ramp down here looks like a picnic area on the other end there but no one's used for a long time I'd say the water would have gone all the way up there as well it would have been great to film here five or six years ago to see how beautiful it was and what's become of it now. I've got my kid with me today. The sun is just starting to poke its face out of the clouds there. You can see a little bit of trickling of rain. Head over underneath the bridge there, and then we'll make our way to Springwood. We're just underneath the bridge. This place is just on the outskirts of Richmond if you're heading up towards Springwood and Katoomba. So if you're coming across this bridge, have a look on the left and right of it and see the destruction of the 20, 21 and 22 I think floods because I remember in 21 down there at Leonay they were worried about their house going under but the big one was last year you got all the stuff that's come from up and downstream down the river and it's moved all these rocks you got sofas in the water. You got an umbrella over there. You got a deck chair, camping chair over here.
the roar that must have come through here. Look at that, it just looks like a looks like a wasteland, different country, different planet. Nothing left. All the trees have been snapped. A great filming location down here. If anyone wanted to do a TV series or some sort of movie where there's been an apocalyptic event, you would just come down here with all these trees killed over. This is where you'd be filming. Okay. That's the Uramindi Reserve, southern entry. I always wanted to stop in the past. And I said to myself, if I'm ever back this way again, I'm going to do a little bit of filming down here. Jules and uh, Mavericks are rather busy with their businesses, so I don't think they'll be coming out anytime soon. So videos this year might be a little bit scarce. But when we can, we'll get out, we'll do a little bit of filming. There's plenty of places to go, but no one to go with. You ready to go, Bren? Have a look what year this bridge was opened 2004 so the wooden bridge that was next to this would have been replaced in 2004 all right that's it until we meet again on the next adventure or explore adios Just stopped in to Lithgow for a bit of lunch and coming up the Bells Line Road, we found out that the Zigzag Railway is about to open, reopen on the 27th and the 28th of May. Look what they've done here. They've laid tar bitumen all through the car park. Look how professional it looks at the moment. For those who are new to my channel, if you go to playlists and click on 2020, straight after the fires, in early January, we actually walked from uh, the station here down to bottom points. And there was there used to be a locomotive and uh, another train on the left-hand side, that, that's gone. Not quite sure if the water tank is still up there. There's a few people in cars and uh, some tradies there working on the toilet block I think it is it's looking very professional this used to be all gravel all the four-wheel drivers used to gather here before they used to head down to the glowworm tunnel which is down there but it also says that the glowworm tunnel is closed no access to glowworm tunnel or walking tracks so it's good to know the 27th and 28th It reopens. I bet you there'll be a few cars then. Look at all the car parking spots. I reckon it'll be a full house on that day. They've taken down all the widow makers, which is the trees. When we did that walk all the way down to bottom points, you weren't allowed up there because of falling trees. It's had some bad luck over the years. First the fires, then the floods, then the fires again. But it's good to see they had a, a shitload of money given to them from the New South Wales government a fair while back. And they've been putting into uh, fixing the tracks and everything else. So. so those of you who were wondering when this joint reopens again, tickets on sale now. Choo choo. Zigzag Railway reopening entrance. Opening days, the 27th and 28th of May. Steam services, tickets on sale now. And that's it, that'll wrap up our day. A little bit of drizzle throughout the day. 
but it's been a nice drive. Let's see what this board is down here. Brown Swamp. So, until we see each other again on the next Adventure or Explore. Adios.